Hello primary four with you Miss Iman and today we will take a last concept unit four concept two changing landscapes landscapes or our environment can it change okay and we have two changes fast change and slow change do you remember the fast change which didn't take long time it takes short time and the slow change which take a uh, uh, very long time and today we will take an example for the slow change which take a very long time okay like what like canyons do you remember the canyon yeah we take the canyon and the previous concept which called the canyon is a the canyon is a deep valley again canyon is a deep valley we have valley valley mean the water which between two land if we have two mountain and between them we have river this called canyon so we start with the definition of canyon canyon like this picture we have two mountains between them river or water so the mountain or two mountains between them river uh, it's deep valley and deep valley called canyon this canyon curved by flowing water okay we have flow water flowing water on a land this flowing water will make process this process will form what will form a canyon okay okay how the water how did the water can curve or form canyon today we will take how water can form canyon we start with canyon can be formed by weathering and erosion how we took that the water can make weathering you remember weathering weathering mean breaking down of rocks do you remember okay breaking down of rocks we took that the water when the water run over the rock it will make breaking down super breaking down of water okay how because the water dissolved the minerals inside the rock if the water dissolved the, the mineral inside the rock what happened the rock become weak so it easily it can break down easily okay so now the water or running water on the land can dissolve the mineral and make weathering okay number one after weathering after breaking down of rocks what happened after breaking down of rocks we have sediments the sediments will move from one place to another by the action of water do you remember the erosion can caused can be caused by three ways yeah super water wind gravity now we have sediments and the sediments will move from one place to another by the action of water so we have running water or water on a land what happened this water will make two processes what what the weathering and erosion again weathering and erosion so if we have land and we have uh, water which run above the land what happened it will make weathering which breaking down the rocks then it will move the sediments from one place to another so now the water have a pathway the water have a pathway so the water will move on a low land and the two sides a land okay so we have water on the two sides we have land this shape called valley when this valley become deeper and deeper and deeper like the gif deeper and deeper so it will form canyon as we know the canyon is a deep valley again the canyon is, is a deep valley okay all the canyons all the canyons have the same shape have the same rock have the same colors no we have canyons differ in shape differ in colors and today we will take four examples of canyons we start with the first canyon wadi nakhr in oman again wadi nakhr in oman again wadi nakhr in oman this wadi nakhr in oman this canyon its color is brown and black look at this picture at the first layer uh, the first layer from the up okay the upper one is brown but the lower one is black or gray so this canyon has two colors the rock has two colors of this canyon okay the brown and black again brown and black okay all canyons have brown and the black colors no we have another canyon which called the small canyon in thailand again small canyon in thailand this small canyon in thailand this canyon 
uh, have reddish color what's the meaning of reddish color reddish color mean not red but it has a small amount of red color light red okay so it's called reddish color light red uh, equal reddish color so we have today two canyons the first one wadi nakhr in oman again wadi nakhr in oman have two colors okay this this canyon has two colors brown and black Again, brown and black and another canyon called small canyon in thailand okay this canyon uh, the rock of this canyon or the mountain of this canyon has reddish color reddish color mean light red okay and the last two canyons we will take today the canyons which have v-shaped v-shaped like the v-letter look at these pictures okay we have two canyons have v shape colored canyon in sinai in egypt okay we have colored canyon in sinai which have v shaped has what v shaped and wadi ram in jordan wadi ram in jordan we have we have two canyons both of them have v shaped okay colored canyon in sinai repeat after me colored the canyon in sinai Wadi Ram in Jordan again. Wadi Ram in Jordan. So we have two two canyons have colors like the Wadi Ram in Wadi Nakhr in Oman has brown and uh, black color. And the next one we have a small canyon in Thailand which ha which has a reddish color. And the last two uh, canyons color the canyon in Sinai with the rum in Jordan both of them have V shaped okay and now we will take how did the canyon form okay we start with a slide if we have water if we have running water on a land now we maybe 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 we have weathering and erosion okay at the first weathering breaking down of soil or, or, or of uh, sediments or sorry or of rock okay and erosion the movement of sediments from one place to another so we have like this picture so we have a pathway of this water and on the two sides we have land okay so now this picture is a small canyon at the beginning of its formation okay if we have running water on a land and the running water make a pathway it will make erosion and weathering so it will make a pathway okay to move and on the two sides of water we have land this cold or maybe form a small canyon at the beginning of its formation okay what is the, what are the evidence what are the evidence of this is this maybe maybe form canyon number one if the water is still running on the land for a long time and didn't dry up and the water is still run still run 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 on on the land and didn't dry up maybe this water will suitable This water may be suitable for growing plants in the tree. If we have water and this water move or run over a land, this land may be contain seeds. So the two sides of this water will grow on the two sides will grow plants and trees. So from the evidence of small canyon at the beginning of its formation, when the water move on a land and this water didn't dry up okay and still moving on the land maybe the trees and plants are growing on the two sides or the uh, both sides of canyon number two after moving water on the land moving and moving it will make weathering do you remember when i said the when the water run over a rock it will make weathering then erosion okay so if the water move above or run out run, run over the rock it will make weathering and erosion so the two sides the two sides of this canyon may be gently slope how if you have if we have water and this water run over a land okay it will make weathering and erosion so now we have a pathway okay the water on a low land but the two sides above this land okay so we have low land this low land has low running water and we have two sides of land okay 
So we have lowland. Lowland contain water in the two sides. This called gentry slope. The slope here gently, not a steep. Gentry slope. So if we ask that from the evidence of a small canyon at the beginning, at the beginning of its formation, number one, the trees which grow on the two sides, and number two, at the beginning also, we will see the sides are gently slope, not steep slope. Okay, and now we have some notes. Number one, the water streams that flow over a flat land may be, well, probably, for small canyon. Maybe if we have water with, when they move or run about the land, it may, may be form a small canyon. But this water, if this water dry up, okay, it not form anything, okay? Number two, the small canyon got deeper. Maybe the small canyon become deeper and deeper. How? If we have more erosion, if we have, uh, sorry, at first, if we have more weathering and if we have more erosion because the water make weathering than erosion, so it will, it will make a, a canyon more deeper. Okay, this water still didn't dry. Yeah, how? If we have more rains, if we have more rains, the small stream of water become bigger stream, become a river. This river can make more weathering and more erosion. So now this valley become deeper. Okay. And the last note we have beside the canyon there are there are many there are many other forms of land form. We can see beside the canyons we can see mountain, dunes and valley. And now we will take how did the canyon form. Okay, we know that we need water on the land, okay, to form or to make the canyon. Okay, this water come from rains. Okay, did this rains will fall down on the land or still in the air? No, it will fall down on the land. How? Because we have force or pulling force which pull the object down to the earth, this force called gravity. So the gravity will pull the rains downhill to form small streams. Okay, again, we have rains and this rain will fall down on the earth. Why? It will fall down on the land because we have gravity and the gravity it's a pulling force which pull the object down to the earth. And now... After the gravity pull the rains down on the earth or on the land, it will form this water. It will form small streams of water. Okay. And if we have small streams of water, what happens? If we have a stream of water and stream, another stream of water and between them we have space, what happens? After more rains, we will have a small stream of water between them and more rains this stream or this stream of water will join together and they make a big stream again if we have small stream of water and another uh, another small stream of water and between them space okay land and after rains we, now we will have the small other streams of water other small stream of water between them what happened after more rains all of this stream of water will join together and they make a big stream this big stream called river again river okay what happened we know that the river or the water which running over the land or over the rock, what happened? Make weathering and erosion. So the water of river flows fast and make erosion or erodes, erodes a pathway. It will make a pathway to move. Again, the water, it will make the water make a pathway to move okay so the water will erode a pathway through the land and they make work and they make a pathway of water and the two sides we have land the shape called valley the shape called valley not canyon the canyon it's very deep but the shape called valley okay look at the first picture now we have a stream of water on a land okay what happened the small streams of water will join together and make a big stream. And now the big stream of water will form what will make erosion or will erode, erode the land and make valley. Then it, the valley becomes deeper and it will form what? Yeah, it will form a canyon. 
And now, this valley or this canyon have V-shaped or have triangle shape, the space between the two mountain, uh, which shape? And all these shapes depend on what? Depend on two factors. Number one, the types of rocks. The, this rock or the, the rocks which uh, in the mountain, okay, the rocks which break down easily, okay, or the break down but break down hard, okay, so we have two types or many types of rock. Some rocks can break down easily and other rocks can break down hard. So we have many types of rocks and the shape of valley or shape of canyon, okay, the space between the two mountain can depend on number one, the type of rocks it can be easily to break down or hard to break down, okay? And number two, the speed of river, speed of river, the river or the water of river, flow fast or slow. If the river flow fast, it will make more erosion. It will carry more sediments from one place to another. So it will make more erosion. And if we have river and this river move slowly, what happened? It will make less erosion. It will carry small sediments from place from one place to another place, but not long distance, in a short distance. So the speed of river, speed of river. If the river flow fast, it will make more erosion. And if the river moves slow, it will make less erosion. And this factor can change the shape of valley. Okay. And the age of river. Also the age of river, the river, uh, old or new. And the last factor, the size of river. This river, big or small. We have big stream of water or small stream of water. Think with me. If we have big stream of water, the big stream of water, more water will make more erosion. The big amount of water will take more sediments from one place to another. So it will make more erosion and we have a small stream of water the small stream of water this, this small amount of water it will take small amount of sediments it will make it will make less erosion it will make less erosion so the factors the factors which can change the shape of valley or shape of canyon number one types of rocks number two the speed age and uh, size of river and now we have other nodes, yeah, big stream, as we said, the big stream or river cause more erosion. It will take more sediments from one place to another. So the big streams or river cause more erosion than the small streams. And the river that flow fast, if we have river and this river flow fast, it will take more sediments. So it will cause more erosion than the river with low flow okay and now we will take the another type of canyon or another uh, name of canyon we take new canyon which is called grand canyon the grand canyon the grand canyon is a type of canyon okay which located in the united states in america okay it's a very large and steep okay not gently it's a very steep okay it's a steep canyon it's a very deeper canyon okay and this canyon contain many layers of rock. Look at this picture. Wow, it's a very, very, very deep canyon. And the mountains on the two sides contain many layers of rocks. And the river move at the bottom of this canyon. Okay, and how did this canyon form? This canyon and other canyons, how? We have water on a land. This water will make weathering and erosion. So it will make a deep valley. This deep valley, after more erosion and weathering, it will form a canyon. But this Grand Canyon, this, uh, it's a very large and steep due to what? Due to the water or the water of the river move from up to down. Do you know the waterfalls? Yeah, the waterfalls, the water will move from up to down in the waterfalls the water move from up to down and in this picture or in this example did you see that the water move from up to down move from up to down like this look 
Wow, the water moved downhill. So when the water moved down a steep slope, it will move fast. Look again. Yeah, it will move fast. So what happened when the water moved fast? Do you remember? Yeah, we took it in the few uh, the few, last few minutes. The water, when the water moved from up to down, what happened? It will make more erosion. It will take more sediments from one place to another. So when the water moved quickly, okay, what happened? It moved uh, at the first. It moved very quickly or very fast due to it moved downhill. It will move down a steep slope. Okay, and then the water moves down a steep slope, it will move fast. When the water moves fast, what happens? It will make more erosion. So the water of the river erodes the rock and cut them. Okay, what happened? The fast flow of water erodes or eroded a lot of sediments. It will make erosion for a lot of sediments and take them for a long distance. Okay, and it will form a very deep Canyon, this canyon called Grand Canyon. So the Grand Canyon, which is a very large and steep canyon, formed due to the fast flow of water because the, the water of this river moved downhill, down a steep slope. Okay. Look at this joy F. The formation of Grand Canyon, if we have a stream of water and look, the water moves downhill again. If we have land and we have river in from the other side, we have water move downhill, down a steep slope. So this water will make more erosion and more weathering. So it will erode more sediments and form a grand canyon. And now we will take the difference between the canyons and valley. And now we start with the valley. Okay, valley, it's a low land, low land we have for a water, okay, and this water flow on the land, this water which flow on the land, it will make more, it will make erosion and weathering, so it will erode a pathway for this water, this pathway between the two land, this called valley. So when we have low land between the two mountains on the two sides, but it's low land, not very deep. No, it's low land. When we have low land between the two mountains, this is called valley. But when this low land between the two mountains become deeper and deeper and it cause more erosion and or the river or water erodes more sediment and the shape become deeper, this is called canyon. So the canyon it's the area between two mountains, but the canyon very deep, but the valley, a low land, it's a water, okay, or running water on a land, which make a pathway, and the two sides we have land. This is called the valley, and when, when it becomes deeper, this is called canyon. Imagine with me, if we, in the canyon, between the two mountains and look and at, at the two sides what happened the two walls are very high the two the two walls of canyons are very high okay so so the walls of canyon are very hard due to what due to the canyon or or canyons are very deep okay and if we know Oh, if, sorry, if we remember the Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon contains the two walls or the two mountains on the two sides, okay, contain many layers of rock. We know that the canyon, okay, has very high wall, okay, this very high walls contain rocks, many layers of rocks. So the canyons, the canyons contain many layers of rocks, okay, and both of them. Both of them contain uh, water or river, as we know, the valley or canyon. Both of them contain water, and both of them formed by water. The valley at the first have water. This water make a pathway, and then it will form a valley. After more erosion and weathering by water, it will form a canyon. So both of them formed by yeah water, super or river. Look at this picture. At this picture, we have two large mountains between them, river at the bottom. Did you see the river? Okay, so we have two large mountains and between them river. This is called canyon or valley? 
Yeah, super. It's very deep. It has steep slope. Again, steep slope. Sorry. I forget a point here. Okay, a point here. The, uh, the point here, number one, the valley, gentle slope. Due to its a low land between the two sides, okay, between the two sides of land. So, this low land has gentle slope. At the beginning of formation, we have uh, water running over a land. So, no, no, no formation of canyon, not deeper. Yeah, it's a low land. This low land, okay, gentle slope. But when the, the slow land become deeper, when the slow land become deeper and erodes more sediment, the water erodes more sediment, so it will make a steep slope. Steep slope. It's very deep. And at this picture, did you see a steep slope? And did you see a very, very deep valley? This is called the canyon or valley? Yeah, it's called canyon because it's very deep. But the picture we have running water or water flow uh, flow on the land and on the two sides we have mountain but this land low land between the two mountains so it's called what valley not canyon okay and now we will take the wind the wind in the desert the wind can change the shape of rock yeah how at the first the wind in the desert can change the shape of rock by erosion. Do you remember? Do you remember in the desert we have sand, right? And the wind can take the sand from one place to another. When the when the wind takes the sand from one place to another, this process called yeah super erosion. So the wind in the desert can change the shape of rocks by erosion. Look at these pictures. Yeah, this, these rocks super. These rocks have different shape. How we will take now and another shape of rock. And now we will take how did the wind change the shape of rocks. Number one, the wind take the sediments or the sand from one place to another. This is called erosion. Wind erosion again. Wind erosion. The wind take the sediments or sand from one one place to another and on its way, what happened? Maybe the sand or maybe the wind which carries the sand hit the rock. In the desert, we have sand and rock. And when the wind takes the sand from one place to another, on its way, maybe it meets or hit the rock. What happened? When the sand hit the rock, when the wind which carries the sand hit the rock, the particles of sand inside the wind, it will make friction. Friction. Do you remember friction? Yeah, wrapping, wrapping between the sand particles and the rock. Again, when the wind takes the sand from one place to another, what happened? It will take the sand and in on its way, it will meet or hit the super the rock in the desert so it will make friction friction wrapping between the sand particles and the rock this process will cause or make new shape of rock look at the picture at the first as we said the wind flows and across the land and take or pick up the sand from one place to another what happened the wind or the uh, sediments in the wind or the sand in the wind, when it hit, hit or meet a rock, what happened? It will move down or dropping down. Okay. And this process, the friction, the friction rubbing between the sand particles inside the wind and the rock, this friction will curve or make a new shape of rocks. Look. This is steps. At the first, we have wind. This wind carries the sand. When the sand or, or the wind which carries the sand, okay, meet or hit with the rock on its pathway, what happened? It will make friction between the sand particles and the rock. It will make friction. This rubbing will make what? Will make a new shape uh, with uh, on the rock, okay, uh, or a new shape of the rock, okay, and. What else? When the wind which carries the sand and when they hit the rock and they make new shape of rock, what happened? What about the sand? 
this sand will move down will move down when I take uh, markers and I hit with the wall what happened the my body hit with the wall and maybe the markers fall down from my hand and add the wind when the carries sand and on its path it will hit the rock what happened the sand will move down so now after moving down moving down moving down of sand it will form a hill of sand it will make or uh, uh, form a group or a hill of sand this is called sand dunes it's called what sand dunes okay the sand dunes created are created by erosion and deposition how yeah by erosion and deposition erosion how when the wind takes the sand or carries the sand from one place to another this is called erosion when the wind on its path hit the rock it will make dropping down or the sand dropping down so it will make deposition so the sand dunes are created by erosion and deposition again the sand dunes are created by super erosion and deposition erosion when the wind carries the sand from one place to another and the deposition when the sand when the sand dropping down okay so the sand dunes are made of wind blowing sands when the rock block the wind okay then the sand dunes we see the sand dunes in two places or, or common in two places number one do you remember when we take the sand dunes on the beach we see it on the beach yeah we can see the sand dune on the beach how we have small sand dunes on the beach but we have a large one or large sand dunes on the desert okay because we have a strong strong wind on the desert but we have weak weak or gentle wind on the beach do you remember so we have the sand dunes common on two environments okay number one beach and we have on the beach we have what we have small sand dunes and on the the desert we have large sand dunes okay and the sand dunes we didn't see sand dunes on uh, only one sand dune no we have sand dunes in groups okay and there may be one sand dunes reach to hundreds of meters again one sand dunes can reach to 100 uh, sorry hundreds of meters it may be very large and tall and this type we see in the yeah super desert because we have strong wind